Welcome to African Do here in New York at the Concordia Summit. We're here with decision makers and heads of state who are pushing the agenda at the UN General Assembly. With us, we have Antonio Dixon, the co-founder of SolarFi. Uh, you're actually working on fighting climate change. How is your company working on that? Well, we're making solar power charging stations for people in rural areas. We're empowering women entrepreneurs to be able to charge mobile phones in their community. It's like a business in a box, and that business in a box is seven feet by seven feet by seven foot, all solar power, has refrigeration inside, and then we also have TV screens, which are, are tackling the SDGs from an educational standpoint. So everything is renewable. Many of the solar power uh, panels that we use, they're actually being restored from, from broken solar panels or use solar panels that people no longer use. We're fighting the SDGs in multiple ways. One of the things that we're looking forward to now is utilizing healthcare and the SDGs as well as solar energy. And the way we're doing that is we're creating solar powered mini clinics, which will be enabled with IoT and artificial intelligence. Microsoft has just come out as a partner. And what we're doing is telemedicine. So we'll be able to scan a patient's mouth intraorally. That patient can now send that, that data up to the cloud. That goes to a doctor here in New York and that doctor can treatment plan and diagnose and help patients from a distance. What we find that happens many times is doctors in the rural areas, they want to get to the city center, and the doctors in the city center, they want to go to Europe. So now we can have those doctors still be able to help people remotely, all utilizing clean power and renewable energy. Do you think that technology is actually going to change Africa? If Africa misses the technology leap, we're in trouble. We have 70% uh, youth unemployment, and all of those kids can, they have fingers, they can all code, and they can do that from anywhere. So they can work for Facebook, they can work for the Microsoft, the Googles, they can innovate and come up with new ideas remotely no matter where they are. So the future of Africa is technology. Thank you so much, Antonio. Stay with us on African Do. Get the conversation going on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn.